Hi there. Welcome to the channel. I'm Billy the Lake Groomer. So, uh, a little while ago, I finished filming, or I thought I finished filming, a shave video. And I was going to post it tonight. And um, the, the shave had issues. Uh, the video had major issues. It's like the, the, the phone app for my gimbal crashed. Um, a phone call came in. Uh, I lost half, basically over half the video. I guess I thought I, I filmed the whole shave and I realized it's like afterwards, it's like, there's nothing here. So um, I'm gonna make a little, uh, a completely separate video, um, non-shaving, well, shaving related. So how do you turn a Sterling sample puck into a shave stick? like this. I mean, maybe it seems pretty silly, right? But you know, the way you would use this, you'd, you'd kind of use it like an Arco stick, if you're familiar with those, is you would um, wet your face, run this around your face, that loads the soap, and then, and then you brush to lather it up. So now I'm going to do the same thing here uh, with a fresh Sterling sample puck. So I uh, went to the dollar store, I found some glue sticks, and I don't care about the glue at all, right? But um, anyway, if you care, that's the one I got. Jot glue stick. Uh, two of them for like a buck fifty, something like that. Anyway, I don't care about the glue. So the glue goes. All right, so you don't need the glue. So you just pull it off this little guy here, right? So this little black plastic thingy you need. All right, so keep that, toss the glue, don't want it. Um, so now you have three pieces, all right? Cap, internal thingy, and the tube. And the tube has this uh, spindle in the middle. So, and, and you can peel this label off now if you want. Um, and then clean this thing out really well. Um, I cleaned it out man. I cleaned them out manually a bit first, and then I run them through the dishwasher with a load of dishes. Um, and what you get after you remove the label is this. It's very clean. So now I'm just going to push this. So the the um what do you want to call it? The solid end, right? It should be like a cup, right? So put this in there so it's like a cup and run it all the way down. Can you see it descending into the tube? Until it can't go no more. There, we hit rock bottom. All right, now I got my Sterling sample puck, Executive Man, I believe it's their most popular soap. Um, I like these sample pucks because they're only five bucks. And while you know you can save money by buying the bigger pucks, I like these because it gives me the variety I like. Um, anyway, you can save the label and put it on the uh, tube later if you like. So there you go. Just gonna save that. That smells great. Now I don't feel like getting my hands all soapy, so. I'm gonna put on a couple of these gloves that I found under the sink. If I can fit my fingers in. Yes, I have the proper number of fingers. Mmm. Latex. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, okay, so bend over. All right. So, um, bend over and say cheese. So I'm just gonna cut this apart. Well, break it apart. Four pieces is fine. I'm just gonna form it into a, a ball. Okay. Like that. I'm gonna shove it into the stick and just push it right down over the spindle. Each piece, I'm gonna just do the exact same thing. I'm gonna push them down. So 
So, how was your 4th of July Monday if you're in the States? Or how was your Canada Day weekend if you're in Canada? Or how is your Monday going if you're anybody anywhere else and I don't know your holidays? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get a lot of work done today, but I needed a break, so I did a shave. And uh, it, I had such plans for such a great video. Um, I was going to be reviewing, well, I did review, <laughs> uh, a very interesting soap from Holy Ka, La Superior Dolce Tobacco. I was surprised, I was a little curious about the name, right, because like La Superior, it, that could be French, right? It sounds more like French, and then Dolce is Italian. So it basically just means the superior sweet tobacco. It's like, ah, that sounds interesting. But, uh, you know, if you kind of mix French and Italian, you could kind of call it Corsican. Well, not exactly. I mean, Corsican is its own language. Or some people consider it to be a dialect of Italian, but it's got some Frenchisms to it. And the, the official language of the island of Corsica is French. Anyway, that's, so that's pressed pretty much as far down as I can get it. So now I'm going to start twisting this up just to make sure that the black cup thingy is all the way on. Yes, okay, that's clearly on. And the reason I do that is because now, ah, aha, you want to make sure that the soap is fully in that cup. Like, don't go nuts with this, but, you know, do it enough to make sure that it's fully engaged. And hopefully, yes, wait, no, almost. Anyway, you get the idea. Up and down. I'll probably have to do that a couple more times. So up, down, up, down, up, down. So many, so many inappropriate things come to my head as I'm making these videos and I say just random things. Right? So that's that. Um, I'll clean that thing off in a minute. Somehow, the feeling of soap is gross even through those gloves. Um, but if I take this one I made previously from Ozark Mountain, one of my, so far one of my favorite sterling scents, I mean, it goes up and down nicely. So you can make it work. Okay. Um, anyway, it's not much of a video. Uh, I was hoping to have something much better. But I'll do that uh, review of the Holy Ka soap tomorrow. And um, if you watch this, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, maybe share the video with somebody. If they're, you know, if they like soap sticks, maybe they want to try this. Or if you do. Um, and then, uh, yeah, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. And uh, even though this isn't a shave video, I will uh, recite the four rules of shaving. They are one blade. No pressure, quality lather, deft hand. This is the way. Thank you. Bye-bye.